virtual collaboration and teamwork. This presentation demonstrates how teaching virtual collaboration and teamwork changed from 2011 to 2023 for Dublin Institute of Technology, Technological University Dublin, and Shaw University Turkey. We will use live demonstrations of how students were taught as teaching practices evolved. We will highlight advantages and disadvantages of variations relative to effectiveness of teaching teamwork and of teaching teamwork in 3D. Our goal will be to evoke new insights and practices going forward. Demo zero. For demonstration zero, we are going to form one-time teams. Here are your instructions. Look at the person next to you. I hereby assign the two of you as a team. Now, I am your new teammate and choose a team name. Pick a side, Marie, and go with it. For example, red team, dragon team, or the first two initials of your names. By the way, it's okay to have a one-person team if you can't find someone. Just use your two initials. So let me know when you have a team name. Just type name in chat, and I will wait for a couple responses. Two-person teams. Marie has a teammate. Thank you, Marie. Oh, or you're transcribing. I get it. If you don't want to be in a team with someone else, you can be your own team, but name your team. Has anybody formed a two-person team yet? Just type yes. Okay, Magua. Good. Shiloh, good. All right. Has anybody else? Professor, thank you. Bryla, thank you. Has anybody else formed a two-person team? Wisdom said yes. Thank you, Wisdom. Has anybody else? I'm looking for two mores. At least two more yeses. If you formed a one-person team, just type yes. Has anybody formed a one-person team? Marie is on the transcription team. That counts. Rasani says yes. Okay, good. We now have enough to get started. Thank you. Here is your assignment. Uh, we'll ask you the name later, but that was good. Thank you for picking a name. Here, teams, this is your assignment. Your assignment is to find out at least two things that catch your interest about teaching virtual collaboration and teamwork. Find out two things that catch your interest. Here we go. Please stand and follow me to the first station. If it helps, you can just stand in the middle and aim your camera where I am. That way you can avoid bumping into each other. So please stand for those that can do it. And if you'd rather just aim your camera around, fine. Lazy so-and-sos. Just kidding. Station one. Station one demonstrates the traditional Second Life slideshow approach. 
where the presenter stands at the front of an audience sitting in chairs. The advantage of this setup, it is traditional, it is familiar, it is easy to film. The disadvantage, it is low event energy, constrained presenter movement, dulled audience attention span. Neutral, it requires uploading slide images and loading into an in-world viewer. Moving to station two, please follow along to station two. Station two demonstrates using a traditional Second Life note card giver approach. Here, the presenter instructs the audience to open an external URL and follow the slides visually as the presenter prompts them orally. Advantage, traditional, familiar. Disadvantage, low event energy, constrained presenter movement, dulled audience attention span. Neutral, easier for presenter to make content updates. Station three, please follow along. Station three demonstrates an alternative Second Life approach. Here, the slides are laid out in horizontal rows along which the presenter walks from column to column, slide to slide as they speak and the audience moves their camera accordingly. Advantage, higher event energy, freer presenter movement, more engaged audience attention span. Disadvantage, requires more in-world space. Neutral, audience can read ahead in the visual material. Presenter acts as a visual pointer. Difficult to do in real life. Requires uploading slide images and placing on arranged prims. Station four. Station four, right here. Station four demonstrates stepping away from fixed visual materials presented in world. This setup requires the class to open an external browser to a YouTube video. Advantage, event energy boost, ability to present animated concept image synchronized with composed concept music. Disadvantage, potential loss of audience attention span. Neutral, requires Advanced preparation and upload to YouTube. Must keep it short, under one minute. Demo one. For demonstration one, we will watch a short video as if we were students in teamwork class. The name of the video is Partnership Journey. Please click the URL which I'm going to give you in a second, and watch the short 30-second video. When done, come back and type done in chat. Click the URL, watch the video now, and come back and type done. Go. This concludes demonstration one. You follow me to station five. Thank you, Rasani. Station five 
shows the teamwork theory presentation and setup as used for the last several years. Here the presenter sits at the top of each column as content is addressed. Sit points for each of the student teams are placed for team presenters to come up and interact with the presenter live in front of the full class. Advantage, higher event energy, freer presenter movement, more engaged audience attention span. Shorter theory session makes room for live interaction sessions. Disadvantage requires more in-world space. Neutral. Audience can read ahead in visual material. Presenter acts as visual pointer. Difficult to do in real life. Requires uploading slide images and placing on prearranged prims. Demo 2. For demonstration two, I need two volunteer teams to step forward and sit facing the audience. Okay, first team up here where I'm standing. First two member team, come on up. Good, that's Rasani. Sit on the left if you don't mind. Sit under the blue flag. I need one of the two member teams. Okay, Rasani, that's fine. Okay, you're one. Come on and sit. Blue flag for Rasani. Good. All right. Now, over here near the green flag, I need another, at least one more team. And it's okay to be one member team members. Step on up. Okay. Good. Magua and Beth. Who is Meg? Was there you go? It's Shiloh. Good. All right. And there's Beth. Great. And who's your teammate, Beth? Or are you a one member team? Okay, good. All right. Great. Perfect. Okay, so we have three teams up here. This is perfect. So, audience, pay attention. You might be called next. Dun, dun, dun. Now we are going to debrief these team members as if they were students in teamwork class. So I have some team check-in questions. So Rasani, what is the name of your team? Thank you. Merrill, what's the name of your team? Big Little. And Shyla, what is the name of your team? Penny B. All right, thank you. Next question. Merrill, did you and Beth know each other before you formed this team? Okay. Shyla, did you and Magwa know each other before you formed this team? Yes, thank you. Ritsani, did you know yourself? <laughs> kidding, kidding, just a joke. Ritsani, do you know any, do you know Meryl or Beth? Have you met the people next to you at any time? Don't think so. Thank you. Well, now you have met Meryl, Beth, Shiloh, and Maigua, and the four of you have met Ritsani. So, Meryl, what do you like about your team so far? What do you like about your team so far? Anything is a fair answer. You like the mixed culture. Thank you. Getting along fine. Rasani, what do you like about having met the other four people next to you so far? 
What do you like so far? You like the bunny. Thank you. Philo, were you able to watch the video from the last station okay? Were you able to watch the partnership journey video okay? Great, thank you. Uh, Beth, were you able to watch the video? Alrighty. Ratani, were you able to watch the video? Yes, external browser, that's right. Thank you, guys. Ratani, has anything caught your interest in this talk so far? Has anything, you can just say yes or no, or you can give an example. Has anything caught your interest in this talk so far? No, thank you. Beth, has anything caught your interest in this talk so far? Yes or no is fine for now. Or you can give something specific. Your methods of teaching. Thank you. Magua, has anything caught your interest in this talk so far? It is familiar somehow. Thank you. Dilo, what did the video make you think of regarding teamwork? What did the video make you think of regarding teamwork? I'm going to ask the same question of the rest of you, so Meryl and Rasani. What did the video make you think of regarding teamwork? Tyler's typing. Two points I caught were brainstorming and mirroring. Thank you. Meryl, what did the video make you think of regarding teamwork? Rasani's typing. Thank you. Keep going. You can both answer. You're not sure. Fair answer. Thank you, Meryl. Rasani? Tani is typing. Beth is typing. Yes, if you would like to answer, Beth or Magwest, you can answer. The music caught my ear. Thank you. Tani is still typing. Aspects of teamwork under the hood. Thank you. Very good. So thank you, guys. You're done. How about a round of applause for our three teams? Please give a round of applause. Just say, good job, good job. So this concludes demonstration two. Okay, please follow me to station six. Station six. Station six shows the setup for a live interaction session using music to demonstrate collaboration. Okay, for this part, you need to have your sounds on. So turn sounds on if you don't have them on right now. And then you can turn them off later. So sounds on. Here we see a set of instructions by the way, if you hear a frog croaking, now you know your sounds are on. Here we see a set of instructions given verbally and in text chat for audience members to play different in-world musical instruments in and out of synchronicity 
with each other. Advantage, higher event energy, higher audience attention span, direct audience participation, higher audience investment. Disadvantage, potential loss of audience attention span. Neutral, requires advanced preparation. Instructions must be feasible in the time allotted. Demo 3. Sounds on, remember. For demonstration 3, I need volunteer teams, and I'm going to ask Rasani, please step up here, Rasani, to the drum kit. Come right over here. And just to test it, click the big pink circle. Perfect. That's the bass drum. And you can click, just real quick. Quick, click some of the other circles so you know what they sound like. Perfect. All right. So you're our drummer. Okay, I need the Beth team, the little big team, to come up, please. And I want you to stand by this first keyboard, right next to the 06 sign. Uh, the keyboards begin and end with orange. So you two stand there. Okay, your job is to play those colored keys. So go ahead and, uh, Beth, why don't you click one of, the, like, the green key. Good. And Meryl, click one of the gray keys. Okay, good. All right, that's enough. Then I need the other two-person team that was, we just, uh, Magua and Shiloh, come up here to the second keyboard. And your job is also to play your keyboard. So go ahead and give a couple taps. Like Magua, perfect, and Philo. All right. Okay, that's plenty. Now, for those that are into music, the middle keyboard is... Uh, one of these keyboards is quote-unquote minor, and one of them is major, but it doesn't really matter. So, good. You're standing up front. We already got the first team. We got the second team, the third team. You already clicked them. We're good to go. All right, now here's what I'm going to ask you to do. Just start clicking, all, of, all five of you. Start clicking. Now, they begin and end with the orange keys. So, like, Magua is standing next to his orange key, and and uh, where's, where are you standing, Beth? You're so little, I can't see you. Yeah, Matt, you're standing right in the middle. Okay, start clicking the drums, start clicking the keyboards. Go. Excellent. Keep going. Good job. You just keep playing. Listen to what you're hearing. And do anything you want. There you go. Bryla says jazz. Okay. You can stop now. You can stop now. Now for the second part, and Ellie agrees it's jazzy. For the second part, Rusani, your job is to start a steady beat. You're going to pick one of the drum circles, any of those, and start clicking it steadily like the heartbeat. Boom, boom, boom. Start now, Rasani. I don't care what sound you pick, just pick something and start beating it regularly. Keep going. Excellent. That's the beat. That's the heartbeat. Okay. Now, the middle keyboard team and the second keyboard team, your job is to keep playing, but this time make sure you're listening to the heartbeat and also listen to the other sounds that you're hearing, but still just keep playing what you feel like. But Pay attention to the beat and to what the others are playing. And Rasani, as long as you keep doing a beat, you can play any of those drum circles. All right, go.
You might just try playing green keys as a variation. Just, just blue keys. And Rasani, try playing the yellow drum as a beat. Nice. And then add the blue drum for a kick. All right. Okay, you can stop now, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Tega. Very good. So how about a round of applause, a second round of applause for these teams? Yay. Good work. So this concludes demonstration three. Let's go to station seven. Station seven shows a set of breakout instructions for first ever student team meetings given verbally and in text chat for audience members to meet in pre-assigned teams and select team leaders and assistant leaders. Some of these questions may look familiar now, having watched our three teams have their first exercise. Also shown are check-in questions asked by the presenter of each and every team and team member in turn directly after their first meeting, sitting in front of the full audience. Advantage, higher event energy, higher audience attention span, direct audience participation, higher audience investment. Disadvantage, potential loss of audience attention span, Neutral, requires advanced preparation. Instructions must be feasible in time allotted. Also, check-in questions must be a mix of pragmatically detailed regarding the assignment instructions and b open-ended and receptive to elicit and encourage student response. Also, Student teams must have been assigned and team rosters must be present. This requires faculty coordination. By the way, you can turn your sounds off again if, if you want. We're done with sounds. Station eight. Over here. Station 8 shows similar breakout assignment instructions and check-in questions for two more follow-up meetings. Advantage, higher event energy, higher audience attention span, direct audience participation, higher audience investment. Also, allows teams to regroup after changes in circumstances, allows teams to progress from formation to actual project work. Disadvantage, potential loss of audience attention span. Neutral, requires advanced preparation. Instructions must be feasible in time allotted. The check-in questions must again be a mix of pragmatically detailed regarding the new assignment and must be open-ended and receptive to elicit and encourage response. And updated team rosters must be present and formal team project briefing must have given, must have been given by now. This requires faculty coordination. Station nine. 
Station 9 shows briefing instructions for how team formal presentations are to be given. Immediately on completion of this briefing, the teams are walked through a full dress rehearsal, including starting at the formal opening area, walking in turn to each presentation area, and returning to the formal closing area. Each team takes their turn in the cycle, practicing their opening and then responding to a further set of check-in questions about their presentation purpose and their exhibit design. Advantage, higher event energy, higher audience attention span, direct audience participation, higher audience investment. Also, higher student comfort and confidence with what is expected of them. Also, allows teams to regroup and refocus on final project work, higher quality student presentation teamwork and content, higher quality student professional development. Disadvantage, potential loss of audience attention span. Neutral, requires advanced preparation. Check-in questions must be a mix of pragmatic and open. Also, updated team rosters must be present. The team project briefing must be present and it requires faculty coordination. This concludes the station demonstrations. Let's return to the seating area. Summary. Key changes made were reduced time on theory and increased time on live interaction, including music, exercises, and recurring team check-ins. Also, a new emphasis on 3D content alignment and team protocol in presentations. General comments. At all times, there is a potential loss of audience attention. At all times, there is potential loss of student participation in teams, which affects themselves and their teammates. At all times, the goal of the faculty team is to support and offer the opportunity for student professional development as team workers team leaders, professionals, and developing human beings. Issues. The question arises, could not virtual collaboration and teamwork be taught in the real world or entirely in non-3D platforms such as Zoom? The answer is yes, of course they could. The question arises, what are the unique advantages of teaching virtual collaboration and teamwork in 3D platforms, such as Second Life? I can think of two to start. The first advantage is that there are many professional career options which use or will use 3D modeling. Learning to build in Second Life using both in-world and offline tools in a hybrid tech manner helps develop the ability for self-expression in 3D, especially in an environment where many others are present. The second more general advantage is that anything I feel that allows people to more fully express themselves creatively in multimedia is an advantage. 
This includes conceptual and emotional expression in voice and text, figure, chart, and diagram, image, sound, environment, object, and sculpture. Demo 4. For demonstration four, we will watch a short video as if we were students in teamwork class. The name of the video is Concept Animation. Please click the URL that I'm about to paste in text chat. Watch the short 30 second video. When done, come back and type done in chat. Go. So this concludes demonstration four. Be brief. Thank you for your time and attention. At the beginning of this talk, I asked that each of you find at least two things that caught your attention. Did you succeed?